health reporter Nicola Hill, who joins us from there. And Nicola, we keep hearing about this uh, so-called second wave and for people not to um, let their guard down as countries start to open up. Are, are countries concerned about this happening? Well, this is definitely something that the European director of the WHO, Dr. Hans Kluger, is concerned about. He's actually been saying that he needs to warn people not to become complacent. He says that there is this possibility of a second wave, particularly later on in the year when you've got the other infections coming into play, flu, potentially a measles problem because so many children haven't been vaccinated. And of course, if people are complacent, if they start to reduce this physical distancing um, and the infections spike back up again, this second wave could possibly happen. And of course, we've seen this in history, haven't we? I mean, the plague came in waves. Of course, the main one that people are all commenting about is the Spanish flu. Um, that definitely um, came in, a, in three waves in total. And in fact, it was the second wave was the one that was the most destructive. But what Dr Kluge is saying is the, the numbers of cases may well be falling in, in, in the UK, in Italy, in France. But it's Eastern Europe now that's becoming the epicentre. You know, Russia, as you were saying, Ukraine, Belarus. And as the numbers are growing there, he's actually warning people to, to really start planning just in case this second wave comes along. He thinks government, governments and countries need to strengthen public health systems. They need to make sure they've got those intensive care beds so that if the figures do rise dramatically as the weather worsens in the winter, that they're all prepared. He talks to something called a COVID reality. He says, we haven't got a vaccine. We haven't got a treatment. We're having to live in this COVID reality. And when you have groups of people together, and as the lockdowns begin to ease, that's growing, then the infection can continue to spread as we're seeing in South Korea. And that's why he's saying that the important messages of the physical social distancing, washing your hands, taking all these measures into, into um, play again, and having perhaps localised lockdowns, which is something that they're discussing as a possibility here in the UK. Because we also had a survey that's just come out from University College London saying that fewer than 50% of young adults are actually obeying all the lockdown rules here in the UK, which is worrying. And that's why the WHO is actually giving this warning, saying, look, there may well be a second wave. Just live in the COVID reality. Get everything ready in case it comes. Mm, all right. Concerning indeed. Uh, Nicola Hill in London. Thank you so much.